I've read the codes out of the ECU. The, uh, the EML light was on and the code was P0303. That tells me that it's misfiring on cylinder number three. In order that this car could be driven home safely without pouring unburnt fuel down the exhaust and into the catalyst, I disconnected the number three injector. So squeeze, squeeze the tab on the connector and lift off the top of the injector, like so. I read the codes on the ECU again after doing that and I now have a new code which says that there's a fault with injector number three wiring circuit. That helps to reassure me that the fault is not within the uh, not within the wiring to the injector itself. So, so the fault now probably lies either with the injector itself not injecting fuel, or with the coilover plug unit not providing a spark. Reconnect the earth to the coil pack and I'm going to put the spark plugs into each into each coil. Now in the same way that I showed you earlier disconnect the other two injectors. By doing so you make sure that the uh, when you turn the engine over, one, it can't start, and two, you aren't just pouring petrol into the cylinders, which will wash down the sides of the bores and dilute your oil in the sump. Now, I really do hope that you could see that on the, uh, on the camera, but it was quite clear to me that numbers one and two are sparking fine, but number three is not sparking at all. So I've connected the number one coil pack and spark plug into the number three harness. Again, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but that was sparking nicely. That tells me that all the signals from the ECU to the coil pack are fine and all I need to do now is replace the coil pack at number three position and it should fire up fine. And just to be sure that uh, fuel is getting into the cylinder okay, I reconnected the injector to number three, turned the engine over for a few seconds, four or five seconds, that was all it took and then sure enough I could smell the fuel so we know that the injector is working okay. Take an old spark plug that you know still works, perhaps one that you've taken out of the engine when you've changed them, and I've straightened out the earth electrode here. Now if the cop unit will spark across that gap, that gap is around about five, maybe six millimeters, then a good fat spark across that gap tells you is, is an adequate test to tell you that the cop unit is, is, in at least, is in at least fair condition. It's certainly adequate and should be capable of producing a good spark in the engine under most conditions. Uh, perhaps not under full throttle or anything, but at least, it, you know, it should be good. I'll show you, I'll show you that test in a moment. So as you saw, this COP unit was capable of sparking across that gap with a nice fat orange spark. So I know now that that COP unit is good. The spark plug test that I showed you earlier with an ordinary spark plug isn't really, like I say, it's not really a sufficient test to prove a good COP unit, but it was a sufficient test to prove 
that this was a bad COP unit because this COP unit wouldn't even produce a spark on there. So the three COP units are back into the holder. Drop them into place like so. It makes sure Reconnect the injectors. Now this engine had a misfire whereby one cylinder was not sparking that meant that the fuel that was being injected to that cylinder was not being burned so some of that fuel would have been ejected down the exhaust and into the catalytic converter can't do anything about that when it when the uh, when we drive again and we warm it up that fuel should be evaporated away but some of the fuel will have washed down the bores washing oil down the bores down past the rings and the oil in the sump will have become contaminated with fuel. We don't know how much fuel. That's impossible to know. Now fuel contamination of the oil is a bad thing because petrol or gasoline breaks down the polymer chains in engine oil. They break down through use of the oil anyway. But fuel in the oil accelerates that process. So on this engine, I'm now going to conduct an engine oil change as well so that it's got fresh oil in it and there's, there'll be no problems in the future with contaminated oil. And I would recommend that you do the same if you've had the same problem. All that remains to be done now is to clear the codes in the ECU for the faults. I use a Bluetooth adapter in the OBD2 port and an app on my phone called Talk.